Yo guys, what is going on? Got some more EX2 gameplay for you guys now. I will uh, just preface this video by saying that this is just a best of one right here. Uh, this is going to be Gallantmon on the right versus purple yellow set control on the left. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't really want to watch like a 40-50 minute. This, this match was really, really long, so I ended up just pulling one game for it. So I apologize if you do enjoy the best of threes. Those are typically the norm, um, but just for this video, I decided to just keep it short uh, and simple so uh we see there i'm going to be set up with the Takato and the guillemon you gotta play very uh weirdly against the set control deck uh just because their um you know their capacity for healing is really high they got a lot of really powerful options in security also uh playing a lot of tamers in my friend's build over here on the left we see the salamon in breeding area also followed up by the uh kari the purple kari there as well as purple mimi so not only will he gain the memory every single time he loses his security so like deterring me from attacking him but then of course making his options uh one cost cheaper effectively is really really powerful we also see the digimon emperor there uh played for a cost of three and then blade of the true uh to uh draw a couple of cards there now uh, i will end up losing the two memory to the emperor effect by promoting the guillemot but i do just want to draw a couple of cards and then go into uh, the security there bait out the wyvern's breath and then my opponent will the tap the kari to go ahead start his turn with three uh, swing the salamon draw off of the upamon and then recover since he was now at three security back up to four uh, off of the deletion from atomic blaster there uh, and so we're going to see a completely clear fields i think at this point i was just trying to effectively get enough cards in this trash to where i can build up into my crimson mode and go for one big push for game uh, so then we're just going to go ahead and hatch a, another gigimon go into the Gigamon there uh, going to go a memory boost uh, we're going to reveal the uh, top uh, four cards of the deck there grab the uh, security attack boost Greymon there uh, and then our opponent is going to go ahead and hatch the Upamon did you evolve into the Salamon off of a breeding play another copy of the purple Kari and yet another copy of the purple Mimi uh, which is also a little bit annoying for me considering I am playing uh, some amount of option cards you see the Crimson Blaze in my hand I'm also playing the red memory boost so we can definitely use that as an interruptive card as well now that I've got the Greymon I'm going to go ahead and go into to that and then off of that i will go into the rise graymon uh for a cost of three putting my opponent uh two three really just trying to build up my big stack uh in the back i think i was also trying to wait for some form of delicate plan not sure if i was actually playing that in this build of gallant and then we're just going to see another copy of digimon emperor of course he's got the effect where your opponent loses to memory if they promote a uh, rookie but then also i believe if your uh opponents like uh if or if any Digimon at the level 5 or lower is deleted, uh, you can suspend him to draw an extra card there. So we are sitting at 3 memory. I'm just going to play the Searcher Guillemot, revealing the top 4, adding the Gallant to my hand, and then putting the rest at the bottom. I'm going to Digivolve into Gallant, not really needing uh, the Rise Greymon's effect uh, there since I've already got my Takatas on field, 3 of them actually. Uh, so really, really powerful a combo there, the Gallantmon plus Takata. We're going to see the Flame Hell side, the minus 6,000, uh, play the Salamon, and then tap the two uh, Mimis to gain the memory. We could also potentially tap the Kari, uh, or, uh, sorry, not the Kari, um, the, um, the Digimon Emperor is there uh, to draw some cards because uh, of our Guillemon that was deleted there off of the minus 6,000 from the Film Hell side. So sitting it at uh, zero a memory. And then we're going to Tactical Retreat uh, for a cost of one, just putting me to one, which is a pretty solid move. He definitely could have made that free with the uh, Memory Tamer card, but instead it's just going to be chilling at six security. The thing with this deck is that uh, as a opposed to yellow hybrid this uh, deck has a lot more room for removal options and then just options uh, and tamers that let you uh, gain advantage off of you know where whether it be memory like kari and mimi or whether it be draw power such as blade of the true or digimon emperor we're just going to go ahead and swing into the security uh they're hitting a guillemon which is actually 1000 so he is going to survive uh, and then minus 6000 on the Gralmon, tapping the two mimis to put me to one and then bringing back another salamon uh, and then drawing two more off of the digimon 
Pokemon Emperor there. So really, really powerful plays here, being able to uh, trap me to one memory, spamming Salamons on the field, uh, which doesn't necessarily matter because Gallantmon has a lot of removal at its disposal. I'm going to go ahead and promote uh, the Gallantmon here and then Digivolve into the Crimson mode for a cost of five, or sorry, six. Uh, putting my opponent to five, deleting all my opponent's Digimon uh, with the highest level, I believe. Uh, or maybe it's DP. Regardless, it's the same Digimon. And then tapping the three Takados to uh, gain three memory. Trashing, I believe, two security from the top since there are ten or more uh, cards in my opponent's trash. And then checking uh, two security off of the uh, Greymon there. So getting rid of a quite the decent chunk of my opponent's defenses. But the problem is, after all that, all my opponent needs is a simple Chaos Degradation or uh, a Wyvern's Breath to be able to clear up my Crimson Mode. And I'm back to square one. So there we are going to see the Chaos Degradation, uh, tapping the Mimi to make it effectively a 5 cost, putting me to 1 yet again. Um, and then going to go ahead and put my uh, Gallantmon to the top of the security and trashing it. So we're going to hatch our last Digi Egg, uh, Digivolve into the uh, Warp Geomon there, pop the uh, red memory boost to go on up to 3. Uh, and then just going to start Digivolving into another stack, so trying to finish off the game. I do believe I was playing two Crimson modes at this point. Um, not sure if I had it at this hand right now, uh, in hand right now, but we're, anyways, we're just going to go into the uh, War Gramon that gives Sec Attack plus one if one of your opponent's Digimon is deleted. Now, the issue is that he doesn't really play anything aside from Magna Anjumons or Salamon, so um, if he does maybe hard play a Magna Anjumon to recover one, we'll be able to potentially check three, assuming uh, it does not uh, die. So right now, uh, we were counting options a little bit because my buddy is playing the Avenge Kidmon package as well, which is uh, one of the reasons why this uh, unfortunately even though Gallantmon on paper has a really strong matchup against uh, this deck, the fact that Avenge Kid can cycle back the cards meaning means that like they can play around the fact that um, Crimson Mode trashes for every 10 uh, cards in your trash, uh, basically allowing them to like minimize the amount of cards you're trashing off of a Crimson Mode. Of course, um, um, the Avenge Kid here is going to be played for uh, reduced cost because of that, reduces the cost by one uh, for each of the uh, option cards that you shuffle back. Uh, and then it also allows you to actually play a Crimson Mode yourself. I've seen a lot of lists playing just the one of Crimson Mode to go on top of an Avenge Kid just to clear out things and attack for a game. We're just going to put me to 7 recovering one with the Magna Anjumon. Uh, also could have uh, tapped the Kari there uh, to gain the extra memory. So technically could have put me to 6 memory instead of 7. But I'm not sure it's going to uh, matter too much here guys. But I do apologize about that slight uh, misplay. So we are going to possibly just bring this guy out. Or possibly just wait another turn. Um, to be honest it is my last egg. I was only playing 4 uh, eggs in this build. I really didn't think I would need a 5th one. But after playing the security control matchup I think definitely... Uh, maybe Maybe something like a Gurimon to include as the last egg uh, would be really, really valuable, especially against these slower paced decks. Uh, so regardless of what I do, it will be my last move if I do bring him out because uh, if I don't game him, he'll be able to remove my uh, War Gramon and without the ability to Digivolve in the breathing area, I'm really going to be like limited as to what my options are. He'll be able to control the board uh, much, much more easily. We're just going to play the Searcher Geomon for a cost of 3, not grabbing anything, stacking 2 Agunimons to the top of that uh, pile there, so those will uh, possibly come in handy a little bit later on, but uh, I am not actually seeing a Memory Tamer, not have not seen one so far, so uh, being able to be choked to 1 is really, really unfortunate. My opponent probably won't give me enough leeway to be able to double hybrid. So we're just going to play the Warp Geomon and then Digivolve into the Gallantmon for a cost of 4, since our opponent does have the Avenge Kidmon uh, on field. It is a level 6 or higher, so I think I'm just at this point trying to uh, build up as big of a board as possible without committing too much to the field. Uh, we're just going to see the Magna Anjumon swing into the Chimeramon. It will be uh, deleted there. Our opponent is rejoicing for uh, some reason, I believe. Maybe it's because he's got like a Flame Hellside or something he can do like to bring it back. Um, or maybe at this point, 
he um, could uh, crimson mode uh, to be able to close out the game so we're just going to go ahead and do crimson mode uh, his doesn't have blitz so I, I will say my I think my crimson mode is a little bit superior uh, but he will be able to delete the uh, Digimon of uh, the strongest Digimon on my side of the field so if this crimson mode lives uh, he will be able to just swing and trash the remaining two cards in my security which is a really really unfortunate so I absolutely need to be able to out this this turn so I am actually just going to bring out my war Gralmon uh, into to the uh, main battle area, Digivolve the Gallantmon for a cost of two, and Digivolve into my second Crimson Mode, deleting my opponents, and then Blitzing, and then since I deleted one of his Digimon, I do gain the three memory. He does not actually have, um, I believe he had like eight or nine cards in his trash, so I'm only going to uh, trash one, and then I am going to check uh, two cards off of the uh, Greymon inherited there, so then we're going to go ahead and recover off of that um, uh, tactical retreat and then unfortunately just hit the uh, wyvern's breath in security and then drawing some cards off of the digimon emperor tapping memory off of the card since our security was reduced going on up uh, to six uh, memory there so really really unfortunate i think at this point out of eggs uh, one guillemot on field we're just going to see the flame house side and guys that is pretty much going to be game i'm going to go ahead and scoop after that so really really rough time for the gallant deck but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about the yellow purple security control uh versus the gallant i do again once again apologize for the misplays uh i made and my friend made here but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you next time